Hello everyone. Today we are gonna learn how can we run the multiple instances of our Spring Boot application. So let's begin. I have created a simple Spring Boot project from my IntelliJ idea. Or you can visit this site and create your own project. And I'm gonna use memo and var as a packaging and go to next. Okay, let me select Java it. Next, and I'm going to add new dependency called Spring Web, and that's it. You can finish this, and all your uh, dependencies will be downloaded in your project. Okay. Let me, or you can, sorry, you can go to this site and you can simply create your own application, likewise what you did in from from the IntelliJ. If I run this application. It will run in a default port. The default port for the our Spring Boot application is 8080. So if we go to our browser and go to your 8080, we will access our application. You can see it is running on the port 8080. We go to enter this thing, and it is switch from white to white level like this because we are not mapping for in our slash pattern path to our view or some controller so let me add let me add one um, one file is index.html which will be matched up automatically by the path slash hello world from this application after the successful um, running of the application it will the, the hello will be accessible in our browser. Sun, okay. If you go to browser, as you can see here, um, welcome page has been added. That's our index page. Go to 8080. Now you can see the hello. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change this default port, which is from 8080 to something else. You go and server dot port is eight zero eight one okay if i run this application in the eight zero eight one our application will be accessible from the eight zero eight one not from eighty eight because we have overridden the default port which is eighty eighty of our system boot by our new port which is eighty eighty one if i if we go to this port and nothing will be accessible and if I into edge at one now a load will be accessible from this path. Okay, now um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna um, uh, add new instance of our application so that when you enter 8081, 80, uh, uh, our application will be assessed, and when you enter 8080, our application will, will also be assessed so that uh, we can assess our this this site from the our from 8080 and 8081. For that, we have to add new configuration. Go to edit configuration and I'm gonna get to go to plus and is sorry plus it will remove this plus and spring boot spring boot spring okay spring boot let's give a name as something like app boot a name can be anything and main class we have to define main, main class which is the main class here I am gonna copy this thing from here and simply put it here and apply and click on okay First of all, let me run the main application, CTM application. It will run in port 8081, which will work fine. Okay, it will work fine. If I go to port like local 8080, it will not be accessible because we have not run any server, uh, we have not configured our, this port. As you can see this and if I run the next um, instance like this if I enter our application will not start properly because the port 8081 is already occupied by our, by our uh, demo application so if we try to uh, run this application it will also take this 8080 page 
sorry, 88 port, which is defined in our application property file, because both the both the server will uh, will use the same application property file and all the code also. So as you can see, so web server failed to start port 88 is was already in use. So we have to um, configure different port for our new application. So we can do this by same by like this. So I'm gonna copy this thing and go to edit configuration select this and we can go to environment and we can set environment variable for this go to click this thing and go to here we can see also, also other in, in my variable that has that is set already i'm gonna put server dot port and i'm gonna put value is 8080 or you can give any port okay and go apply and this thing our application to is already running as you can access from here but our eviction is this is not it's not running properly so i'm gonna what i'm going to i'm gonna now run app2 and as you can guess this app2 will run on port it will run on port 8080 as we define in our configuration 8080 as you can see also here it's running on port 8080 this this first application this second application and let me go to the browser and hit 8080 then it comes so this is the way that in this simple way that you can uh, run the multiple instance of our of an spring application so thanks for watching try it yourself